In this video, I'll be going over working with clones, which sounds similar to working with duplicates, but it's actually a little different, and I'll be explaining that in this video. So let's go ahead and get started here. Just for example, I'm going to go ahead and create a little ellipse like that, and just a little red circle like that. I'm going to convert it to a path. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Edit, Clone, and I'm going to click the option that says Create Clone. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a cloned copy of that original circle. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why don't I just create a duplicate instead? Why don't I just right click it and go to duplicate? Well, this is slightly different here. This object, this cloned object is linked to this object here. So whatever I do to this object, it's going to happen to that object as well. Let me show you as an example. I'll scale that down and that scales down as well. I turn that green, that turns green as well. I go to the paths, I go to the other uh, nodes tool and I change the nodes. And it happens to that as well. This is virtually a copy of this object here. And anything I do to this will happen to this as well. And if you notice here, if you want to look at the nodes, there's no actual nodes here that I can edit. If I want to edit this clone, I have to edit the original clone first in order to do that. Now, if I want to make this clone its very own object and make it so that's no longer linked to this object right here, what I can do is go to Edit, Clone, and I can click on Unlink Clone. And now it becomes its own object. And if you notice here, you can see there's the nodes and everything. And when I go and edit this object over here, <clears throat> it doesn't happen to that object there. So that's how that works. Now let's go to edit, clone, uh, relink to copied. Okay, how this works is, let me create another copy. I'm going to take this object. I'll go to edit, clone, create, uh, yeah, create clone. And here's a cloned object right here. What I can do is instead of take instead of linking this clone to this object, I can instead link it to this object. Let me just edit that a little bit. Do something like that. What I can do is I can copy that by right clicking it and going to copy, or you can just hit Control C on the keyboard. And then I could take this clone right here and go to Edit, Clone, Relink to Copied. And what that does is it relinks it to that object there. And if you notice here, it made it that same exact thing. So that's how that works. Um, let me look here again, edit, clone, uh, select original. Okay, so let's say we have a bunch of objects here, right? I'm going to create a bunch of copies of this clone, a bunch of clones of the clone. I'm going to mix these all together and shuffle them all around. And you want to select the original so you can edit all of them, but you don't know which one is the original. So what you do is you just click on any one of them and go to edit, clone, select original. And then it'll show you where the original one is. And then you can go and edit that further like that. So that's the basics of how clones work. There's a couple of other things I want to show you here in this menu. Clone, clone original path. That's a live, that's a live path effect, which is something that's totally different. I'll be going over that in its own video. And then there's create tiled clones, which this is an entirely long video in and of itself, which I'll be going over next. But that's the basics of how you can work with clones in Inkscape. 